for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Dmitry Shatrov is with me here. You are a Russian pastor who also prayed here during the Vienna prayer breakfast. Yes, I did. I am from St. Petersburg, Russia, the most beautiful city in the world. And I'm a Pentecostal pastor. And I felt such a marvelous pr uh, presence of God here. I didn't expect in a parliament of Austria, Holy Spirit is moving here. It's so good, so wonderful. Thank you for having me here. Actually, I believe it was God's initiative because uh, I met Gudrun in Berlin gathering prayer breakfast in Germany just a week ago and the uh, Holy Spirit somehow put us together in a spirit. We prayed together there and she felt to invite me and I felt it's from God to come and be part of this great event. When you're not at a prayer breakfast, what is your mission? What are you living for? I feel like Jesus, uh, when he reconciled heaven and earth on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them why they don't know what they're doing. I believe this world right now don't know what they're doing. And uh, we cannot please God without faith, but faith acts in love. The, top, the biggest topic of love is forgiveness. And what Jesus was prayed on the cross, forgive them. It's a love in act. It means we are believers who should be pleasing God but by our faith. We could show this faith in love. And love, forgiveness goes together. It's like one and one. And for this period, of, for a such time as this, for a such time as this, we should be play a huge role in reconciliation the world we have to act in love if we want to please God with our faith we have to act and walk in love which mean in forgiveness and I believe that Russian and Ukrainian people will be closest never before when they forgive each other I believe for this reconciliation and that's why I'm here to build bridges to ask for forgiveness to show forgiveness to show love and I believe this is by this kind of faith we can please God because Jesus said when son of man will come will return will he find a faith on earth I believe yes he will if people like this will act in love and we will show the real faith and we will be able to help reconcile people together like Jesus did on the cross the current conflict between Ukraine and Russia, of course, is a very extreme example of where forgiveness is needed. But I think there is no alternative, is there? There is no alternative. We have to forgive. There is no solution by weapons. There is no solution by uh, fighting each other. Nobody will conquer. Nobody will win. It's a big mistake when people think we can conquer, we can win by sword. Only by love, like Jesus did, and he gave us a great example how to conquer the world, to wash feet of uh, each other. So let's use this time, especially to pray for the peace, for the peace in Ukraine, the peace in the whole world. There are many areas of conflict, many areas where forgiveness is needed, and of course also uh, forgiveness in our own hearts. Amen. Thank you very much. I want to be part of this great prayer and this great movement of forgiveness. Lord. Help us to extend your love and forgiveness to each other. Help us to be your heart beating on this earth. 
let your will be done on the earth as in heaven. You have put us together for such time as this, for your glory. Amen. Amen. Amen.